y'all it's bubs and before we get into the video i just want to let you guys know that i'm going to be doing a q a video basically answering any questions um that you guys want to ask me i know a lot of you guys ask me so many questions and i never get the chance to go ahead and answer them so post your questions down below and i'm actually going to have the q a video come out within the next few weeks and yeah do that for me okay please do that for me all right it'll make it'll make things a whole lot easier for me all right <laughs> all right so let's get into the video so this is another ask bubs and this week i got an email from a subscriber hey boo and the subject says gay problems ask bubs Says, hi bugs i love your videos i'm a new subscriber my scenario is i've been talking to this guy since june and we live in separate states but luckily we are only two and a half hours away i'm 21 years old and he's 23 and i'm still a virgin i fell in love with him about a week after confessing to each other that we love each other he revealed to me that he has hiv his ex cheated on him i told him i'd always love him and be there for him He's amazing and is so nice. He explained the entire thing. He's undetectable and up on his medication daily. He's a health nut. I stayed up one night, educated myself, and I learned a lot. He told me that the last guy he dated for two years always used protection and never contracted it. I trust him, but my question is, would you do it? Meaning, would you date someone with HIV? All right, okay, now, I'll be straight up okay hell to the motherfucking no <laughs> hell no and um the one thing all right the one thing i need to let you know is you're 21 you're still a virgin y'all don't even stay in the same state this is a long distance thing you know what i'm saying it ain't never that serious okay it ain't never that serious love is never that serious don't waste your virginity or some shit that you are gonna regret. It is HIV positive. Two and a half hours away. Got cheated on by next or whatever. And again, he's HIV positive. Do you really want that person to take your virginity? Like seriously, off of the basic stuff, okay? There's a chance that you can contract it no matter what. You are young, vibrant, probably cute, you know what I'm saying? All the gay dudes probably looking at you like, hey, boo, you know what I'm saying? In your same motherfucking state. Uh, uh, do not waste your virginity on that. I'm sorry, don't. And this is long distance. Let's scrap the HIV. Let's scrap the HIV. You talking to somebody who don't even live in the same state, state as you, trying to give your virginity to them. Y'all haven't spent one-on-one -on -one time with each other. There's a big difference between long distance and somebody who is there that you can see every day. It's a big difference, okay? I've done long distance, all right? You can have the most chemistry over the phone, but you are really not gonna understand and really feel this person until you're in person. That one-on-one -on -one contact and being able to look that person in the eye every day is entirely different from over the phone and Skype and, you know, conversations on FaceTime, you feel me? Your ass need to find somebody who is in the same place as you that you can see every day, anytime you want it, and who is STD free. Because no matter what, okay? No matter what, this is the thing you gotta understand. You young, you know what I'm saying? There is no guarantee that y'all are gonna be together forever, all right? I would love to think that about that first, you know what I'm saying? We all like to think that, but let's be for real right now, okay? Let's be for real. Do you really believe, okay, that you're gonna be with somebody that you've been talking to since June over the phone every day, that y'all gonna be together forever? Really ask yourself that. Really ask yourself that. You were 21, he's 23. Every, everyone goes through a phase when they feel like they missed out on something and one or the other ends up walking out on the relationship and doing stuff outside of the relationship. It happens. Do you really think that y'all are gonna be together forever? Seriously, think about this. What happens if you contract HIV? 
from him. And y'all break the fuck up. How are you gonna feel there? You gonna feel like you wasted your virginity and you're gonna feel like you're walking around with this black cloud over you for the rest of your life. You are only 21 years old. Have some fun. Don't be trying to give your virginity up, first of all, to somebody who you can't see every day and who has an STD. I'm sorry for him, you know what I'm saying? I know you love him, but you gotta think about yourself first. A lot of people do not think about themselves first because they feel like society tells them that they gotta be for everybody. You know what I'm saying? They gotta worry about how everybody else feels about what they do. You need to really think about you first because if y'all break the fuck up, you're gonna only have you and you're gonna be only thinking about what's going on with you. I say don't do that. Go somewhere else, find you someone who lives in the same state. This is your virginity you're talking about, okay? Someone that you're gonna be seeing every day, someone who is STD free, that you are 100% comfortable around. Not someone that you can only see once in a while because they live too far away. And they have an STD. I don't care if it was chlamydia. I don't care if it was a fucking, just a venereal disease. Do not lose your virginity to somebody who has an STD. Seriously, please, don't do that. You won't regret it. I'm telling you now, you won't regret it. You are 21. There's no guarantee y'all gonna be together forever. I'm telling you that right now, I'm telling you. But um, that's my advice. I hope you take it, all right? I really do. Um, but yeah, that's my advice. You guys let me know what you think he should do down below in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to my other channel because I do have another vid over there. And make sure you like, you share this shit, and again, subscribe. And yeah, folks. <laughs>